One of the most tedious tasks in editing is going through long form content such as podcasts and streams and manually pulling out clips for social media. We've all been there having to go through an hour and a half long podcast, identifying standalone sections, cutting them out, reformatting them for vertical video, finding stock footage, adding captions. It can take forever especially if you wanna stay in Premiere Pro. I felt this fatigue and decided to do something about it, and that's why I built the AutoCut feature in Brevity. AutoCut provides a workflow for taking long-form content and automatically creating sequences ready to post for social media. It will automate almost every part of creating these types of social clips. If you're ready to 10X your editing workflow, let's jump in. All right, so I have a new sequence here, and it's got my buddy's podcast inside of here that I want to generate some clips for social media from. This podcast podcast is about an hour and 15 minutes and we don't want to manually go through here and find our clips so we're going to use auto cut to do that for us back in the brevity panel here we have two different options the first being auto cut and the second one being captions if we want to just generate those animated social media style captions for our sequence we can use the caption feature and we have a full video that walks through all of that i'll link that in the description so first things first let's go ahead and set our in and out points and then let's go ahead and click on the auto cut so at the top here you can see how many available credits our account has and you can also see how many credits that this job will use now below that, we can set the aspect ratio that we want our clips generated in. We have original, which will just keep the original aspect ratio. And then we also have nine by 16. We're also going to be adding more aspect ratios to this section soon. Below that, we have the layout. And this is going to control how the actual clips fit inside of the new sequences that we generate. We have fit blur background. We have fit no background. And then we also have fill, which will cover the entire sequence. We're also working on a new feature here that will automatically detect the active speaker and will cut them into the frame. So keep an eye out for that update. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as fit blur background. Cool, so below that we can choose our caption preset and there's plenty of different preset options inside of here, all the way from super dramatic stuff to very basic standards type of presets. Let's go and choose on this BG follow. Below that we have the transcription menu and inside of here we can dial in all the different transcription settings for our sequence. So the default model is going to be accurate, but we also have the fast model in here as well. We have the auto detect language, which if we detoggle, we can manually select which language is being spoken inside of our sequence. And if there's multiple languages, we can go ahead and toggle this on and choose the languages as well. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this as auto detect. And below that, we have the actions menu. So inside of here, we can tell AutoCut to do additional actions when it's generating each clip for us. We have options to remove the silences from the clips. We have options to suggest emojis, suggest stock media clips for our content, and then also suggest highlights. So let's go ahead and turn on remove silences. We now have the option to set the threshold for how big of a silence it needs to be in order for it to be removed. And then we also have a buffer parameter here as well. Go ahead, let's crank this up to be like 0.8 and then we'll set the buffer to be like 0.25. Toggle on suggests emojis, toggle on suggests clips and suggests highlights. Great. So now let's go ahead and just click on create. Brevity is going to render out the audio from our sequence. It's going to go ahead and transcribe it. And then it's going to use AI to identify a bunch of different segments inside of this long podcast that can stand alone as social media clips. After it's done that, it's going to go through and remove all of the silences. It's going to suggest emojis. It's going to suggest stock media and suggest highlights inside of our clip as well. So here we go. It's uploading the audio to the server right now. All right, now it's going to go through and transcribe our clip. It's just finished transcribing and now it's generating the viral clips. It's using AI to look through the entire transcription and it's going to pull out a bunch of different social media clips from that. Now we're going through and removing all of the silences from each of the clips that we pulled out. It's removed all of the silences. It's added in the caption track and now it's going through this clip and it's suggesting some stock media, some emojis and some highlights for the clip. It's going to go through and do all of this for every single clip that it pulls out. It's going through and it's inserting all of these different emojis straight into our timeline. Now it's going to go through and it's going to find some stock media that's relevant for this clip that it pulled out and automatically import that and insert it into the sequence as well. All right, so that job just finished and it's gone through and it's created nine of these different social media ready sequences from that hour and a half long podcast. 
So let's go ahead and just jump into some of these. As soon as I click on this sequence, it's going to load up the captions and all of the stock media and emojis that have been imported into this suggested clip that is pulled out. Go ahead and give us a quick preview. Well, once we had something that we knew people um, were excited about and, and eventually willing to pay for, um, we need to fund the business and building a software product is expensive. Um, and so we went, and this is what venture capital is for, but we went out to raise money to fund the talent we needed to build on the team to build out the product. Um, and so we went out and raised just under overall, just under a million dollars in venture capital. Took a long time, took me about eight months. Fundraising is the least uh, fun part of building a, a company. You know, some people are, are good at it. I think I fall in that boat of, I think I'm pretty good at um, sales and, and raising money. That's what uh, venture capital is. That game is all about sales and building relationships. And so the thing that really kind of held me back and caused the fundraising to take so long was the fact that I'm, unfortunately, um, I love Kentucky, but unfortunately for a startup founder, I'm in Kentucky. And the problem with that is there's just not a lot of venture capital here. And so cool. So as you can see, it's gone through, it's recommended all of these different emojis for this clip that it suggested. And it's pulled out this clip out of all of this content inside of that podcast. And it's also pulled out all of these other clips as well. So we've got all of these different emojis inside of here. We've got recommended stock media, we've got the silences removed. We've got automatic highlighted words inside of our captions here. It's done basically the entire process of creating social media videos from this podcast. Super cool. Uh, so we can go ahead and adjust this a little bit. Maybe we wanted this to start on a different opening sentence. So when we create auto cuts, it's going to also include some of the captions from previous parts in the video that it hasn't chosen to cut on. So you as an editor can go back and manually adjust the starting point to kind of refine the overall clip. So we can go ahead and click on this cut tool and then maybe we want the clip to start here. So if we go ahead and click on there, it's going to readjust all imported assets and all of the content inside of our timeline to accurately reflect that new starting point. We can also do the same thing for the end here. Maybe we wanted this uh, clip to end a little bit shorter. Let's go right here. So we can go ahead and just click here. It's going to readjust everything. And now we have the clip ending there. Let's just go through some of these videos. I mean, as you can see, we have nine of them. All of them have these recommended emojis. All of them have recommended stock media. We have a full video that goes through all of the ways to use the imported and suggested stock media and emojis. So if you want to learn more about that, definitely check the link in the description. If we want to retime some of these emojis, let's head over to the media tool. And we can just go ahead and drag on the handle for this emoji and maybe we wanted it to start here it's going to go ahead and readjust that inside of our timeline super easy same thing with some of this stock media as well so let's check out what's being said here i'm somebody that just constantly want to learn wants to learn and, and challenge myself especially I mean, it's really good suggested stock media for the dialogue that's being talked about inside of this clip this as well the stage of my life and when I first became aware of startups and I did it myself, my freshman year of college, the pace at which I was learning, I had never felt before. So maybe for this clip, we want to go ahead and swap it out with a different piece of stock media. Let's go ahead and just hover over this and click on it. And so the suggested search query was intense study. And we can head over to Pexels here, which is where it pulled that stock media from. And instead of intense study, let's just type in intensity. Maybe we want to do dedication instead. All right, I like this one right here. Let's go ahead and select this. Uh, we'll actually choose the fit to be full screen as well. There's plenty of other fit options, like if you wanted it to be positioned at the top or to fit the screen at the top. We're gonna do full screen here. Go ahead, click on select. It's going to download that video, resize it, import it into our sequence here. Uh, so now we just swapped out that clip super easily. And of course, we can change some highlighted words around. If we don't want startups to be highlighted, we can head over to this highlight tool. Make sure that's selected. Click on startups. Now it's not going to be highlighted anymore. We can go ahead and jump into the style window here. Choose a different animated preset. Maybe we want to do something like this BG Zoom one. Click on that. It's going to get loaded up inside of our captions here. And if you want to learn more about styling these captions, we have a full video that goes over all of that. Let's go ahead and just position this at the bottom. Maybe we want to choose a different font here. Here's all the different locally installed fonts that we have on our computer. So I'll do Adobe Clean maybe. Yeah, that looks pretty good. 
cool. Maybe last thing we want to do is adjust our caption layout a little bit. So let's say I just wanted to have one line here. We'll drop this down to one line and then maybe we want a little bit shorter of characters, maybe like 20. And so now these lines are gonna be a lot shorter. We can go ahead and click on format captions, which is just going to format our captions for legibility. Now let's go ahead and just give us a quick preview. Being learning velocity is absolutely insane. This is something I've experienced on the second hand, just being involved with the startup. I can only imagine what it's like when you're you know, leading the charge and actually building the product. Talk about the learning velocity of building and why that makes it worth it to you. Yeah, so I'm somebody that just constantly wanna- Let's go ahead and let's swap out. Maybe we'll do this one right here. Go ahead and click on this clip and let's do a GIF instead of a Pexels video here. Maybe we wanna do stickers. So I'm not liking entrepreneurship results for stickers. Let's do business instead. This guy looks fun. Let's put him at the top. Go ahead, click on select. Instead of us having that Pexels video here, it's now going to have the sticker. So yeah, let's just go through, check out some more of these as well. They might not be 100% ready, but this will get you 80% of the way there. And it did all of it in a couple of minutes. Imagine going through and doing all of this manually. It would take forever. And we're still all inside of Premiere Pro here. So as you can see, AutoCut's gone through and it's created nine of these different clips that are pretty much ready to go for social. It's gone through, it's added in the emojis, stock footage, removed silences, added highlights, and it's done all of this in a matter of minutes. It's crazy, and if you're editing any type of content for like a podcast, interviewer, or streams, then you should definitely check out Brevity because this will save you so much time. Imagine doing all of this stuff manually. It's at least a day's worth of work to go through and create nine of these clips, but AutoCut did that in a matter of minutes. So we have many other videos out there that cover how to style the captions, generate captions, using the media tool, removing silences, translating to different languages. So if any of that stuff interests you, be sure to check out some of the links in the description for more information. If you're looking to 10X your speed as an editor creating social media content, you have to check out this tool. Just head over to brevity.pro and you can get started for free. There's a week long free trial and you could test out all the different features, but we are constantly adding new features and looking for ways to save editors time. So thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. It's, I mean, this stuff's so cool, but I, I'm a little biased, of course, I developed the thing. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, bye.